Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Cannon Busters is the latest original Netflix anime series, and it was adapted from a graphic novel slash manga created back in 2005 by LaShawn Thomas. Now, what's interesting about LaShawn is he is an American who lives in Tokyo, Japan, and he's worked on other anime series, including Afro Samurai, and so his creation has been adapted to this anime series by companies Saint Light and the Yubita Company. Now, if I had to categorize this series, it's basically a post-apocalyptic western mixed with fantasy, mixed with giant robots. And if I had to think of other series that it's re- similar to, it's similar to things like Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, Afro Samurai, Gundam, Transformers, Naruto, and a little bit of Mega Man and Star Wars thrown in there as well. Now, if all of that sounds confusing, well, it is confusing, but for some way, they actually made this work in this series. And so the story itself surrounds three main characters. We have Philly the Kid, Sam, and Casey. And each one of these characters have unique traits, and they go on this wild adventure and they're kind of trying to save somebody but at the same time they're really learning a lot about themselves and you learn about them as you're going along and that's the general story and let's go ahead and get into the things that i liked about this series the first and most important thing is the characters themselves and so i mentioned the three main characters have special traits philly the kid he is an immortal so he can't really die and then sam and casey they're not even human and sam especially she plays a very important role in this story but you really don't know what her role is and casey well casey is just somebody that you actually learn to love and they meet many many other characters uh, in this particular story they meet assassins bounty hunters uh, they meet knights Uh, they also meet other unworldly creatures and so all of these different elements go really well in establishing these characters as more three-dimensional and I enjoyed that so much. I cared a lot about these characters, not only the main ones, but even all the side characters as well. So that's the first and strongest thing. The second thing is the story itself. Now the story itself, if you have to think about it in general, it's not anything really unique and because it does borrow elements from other series. But at the same time, it does it in a way that makes itself unique. And I did enjoy that. And I like how as you're going through this, you really feel like you are the characters. You're going through it with them. And so as you're learning new things, it doesn't spoil anything because they're learning it as well. And even through the flashbacks, it doesn't spoil it. You know, it actually serves a story. And as you're going throughout this entire journey, you meet so many other characters and not just because they're different characters, but they're different, you know, they're in different worlds. That's why I talk about the Star Wars elements, you know, just think about Tatooine, and that's what you'll get out of this, because in one moment you'll be in a Western atmosphere, in another moment you'll be in a post-apocalyptic atmosphere, and then in other moments you'll be in medieval fantasy times, and then you'll be in a Gundam series, and that's really what I enjoyed about the story. Even though it follows a narrative, it always keeps you guessing and it always throws new things at you but all of it really makes sense it serves the story and it serves the character and even by the end you don't really know much in terms of what the characters are really about you kind of know who they are but you don't and at the same time you're not really certain of where the story is going to head next and so that's what i really loved about this very first season uh, with these 12 episodes so the story and characters great and then other things that i enjoyed is obviously the animation you know the production quality of this by say like you meet a company it is excellent the animation is very similar to afro samurai cowboy bebop and trigun that's really what i think about whenever i see this visual style the subtitles uh, it is in japanese there are subtitles it works really well the voice acting is great um, i watch pretty much everything in the original language but you could also watch it dubbed as well but the dubbing is done really well and so the production quality is excellent it's top notch and the way in which the action flows it's always fun you know so uh, hats off to the production quality and then the final thing that i enjoyed is the humor Uh, there's so many funny moments in this the characters themselves they're funny you know and as you're going along and you learn more about these characters and how they interact 
It's really funny, especially with Philly the Kid and his interaction with Sam and Casey. And then all the other characters as well, you know, whether it is an assassin uh, or whether it's strange creatures with flowers on their head, uh, there's never a moment where I'm not smiling, okay? And there's very few moments where uh, it's not fun, okay? That's probably the best word I can use for this series. It is fun. Throughout all the 12 episodes, I don't think there was very many moments that I was bored, you know? It was always interesting. Um, there was always action, comedy. There was always something going on and they would always slip something in new just when you thought things were getting boring and predictable. And so that is it for my review of Cannon Busters. This is a highly enjoyable and fun series that I think a lot of people will like. And at the same time, it gives you characters and a story uh, that is, you know, deeper than you might think. And even if you can't figure things out, just going through this entire adventure with them, it makes it well worth it. And so if you actually had any thoughts on Cannon Busters, whether you've seen it or maybe any other anime series that you've enjoyed recently, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you actually wanted to see other anime series reviews that I've done, I will also leave the playlist in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.